Good morning for everyone. I will show the role of the Geological Survey of Colombia uh, with respect to the geohazard and risk reduction. Briefly, I will show the configuration of the Geological Survey of Colombia, um, which is divided in different uh, technical direction, one general direction. And uh, basically, uh, I will focus in this geohazard direction, which I am the technical director. In this geohazard direction, we focus in four geohazards, landslide volcanic activity, seismic activity, and crustal deformation. Each one of these geohazards has different roles and different uh, relationship with different partners and organizations related with the hazard and risk reduction in Colombia. I will show how one each one of these geohazards has those relations. For example, in landslides, we have produced different hazard maps for uh, landslides hazard maps in Colombia and uh, in, at different scales, of course. And uh, with respect to the hazard assessment, we also have produced some methodology, methodological guides for the assessment, uh, for the hazard assessment. And those guides have been used by the authorities, I mean municipalities, for uh, planning and territory planning. In this moment, they are used uh, for producing those uh, maps in different scales. We also have uh, divided the territory, Colombia territory, in different uh, municipalities depending on the uh, priority for studies of uh, detail. I mean, for uh, landslides maps in scales 1,005K or you know, less, 1,000, for example. These basically are located in the Pacific coast and the uh, central part in the, court, uh, the related with the Cordilleras. With respect to the seismic activity, we have a seismic network, national seismic network, uh, with the aim of uh, to locate and uh, produce information related with the uh, volcanic uh, seismic activity, sorry. And in real time, we are monitoring continuously the uh, seismic activity of Colombia. And each time that an earthquake occurs along the Colombian territory, we have three, four minutes to produce and bulletin, bulletin to the authorities, like the unit, uh, for example, the uh, risk reduction uh, entity as well as the others, for example, governments and so on. And uh, after eight minutes, we have the final result. And with this, the authorities use this information to evaluate the possible assistance in the territory, depending on the magnitude of the uh, earthquake. So we are the starting with the protocols of acting with respect to the seismic activity. On the other side, we are also monitoring the induced seismicity by hydrocarbon production. And uh, we have implemented different net seismic networks located in uh, regions where uh, the hydrocarbon industry are um, injecting water. And uh, like in other places around the world, they, are produ they have produced uh, some earthquakes of considerable magnitude. For this reason also we monitoring this in, in uh, with the aim that the authorities have some information to regulate uh, in the case to stop those uh, hydrocarbon production. We also have uh, produced some hazard uh, and risk maps, uh, seismic hazard. We have the, uh, the, uh, uh, implemented this in uh, some information systems in which people can uh, look in where, uh, which is your hazard, seismic hazard in Colombia. And we also are working in the risk uh, hazard map for Colombia. 
With respect to the volcanic activity, we produce uh, currently or weekly uh, bulletins of activity of those active volcanoes in Colombia. We have three observatories around the Colombia, around the territory, which monitor more than 25 uh, active volcanoes. With this information, we can uh, provide use, useful information for municipalities to activate emergency plans. For example, uh, we currently have some uh, uh, eruptions in Nevada del Ruiz, small eruptions or minor eruptions, but it's an activity. Uh, previously, we have also deal with uh, volcanic activity at Nevada del Ruiz, Pura Se Volcano, Galeras Volcano, Chile Cerro Negro, and different different volcanoes around the Colombia territory. And we are also providing information useful for the decision makers. We also produce hazard maps, volcanic hazard maps. With those maps, the authorities can you can plan in the territory. And in the case uh, with the, the formation of the crustal, we have a, a network, GeoRed network, which is used for different authorities for territory planning as well, but it is also used for, for example, the multipurpose catastrophe, which is an initiative by several Colombian governments that uh, will be very useful for the uh, future of Colombia in case of uh, landing. And, uh, and so on. So the geological survey also support this uh, kind of initiatives, governmental initiatives. But all this information will, will not have any purpose uh, more than the appropriation of this scientific knowledge by the society in general. So we have different strategies like guide the PC talks, and uh, we have a um, very nice strategy like the children living in volcanoes biennial meeting with different words, the talks, uh, knowledge sharing, and so on. With the aim that all the information we produce can be useful for the community in general. So this is the role of geological survey in case of risk and uh, hazard reduction for geohazards in Colombia. Thank you.